In molecular biology, CD4 is a glycoprotein found on the surface of immune cells such as T helper cells, monocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells. It was discovered in the late 1970s and was originally known as LER3 and T4 before being named CD4 in 1984. In humans, the CD4 protein is encoded by the CD4 gene. CD4 plus T helper cells are white blood cells that are an essential part of the human immune system. They are often referred to as CD4 cells, T helper cells or T4 cells. They are called helper cells because one of their main roles is to send signals to other types of immune cells, including CD8 killer cells, which then destroy the infectious particle. If CD4 cells become depleted, for example in untreated HIV infection, or following immune suppression prior to a transplant, the body is left vulnerable to a wide range of infections that it would otherwise have been able to fight. Structure Like many cell surface receptors markers, CD4 is a member of the immunoglobulin superfamily. It has four immunoglobulin domains that are exposed on the extracellular surface of the cell. D1 and D3 resemble immunoglobulin variable domains. D2 and D4 resemble immunoglobulin constant domains. CD4 uses its D1 domain to interact with the I2 domain of MHC class II molecules. T cells expressing CD4 molecules on their surface, therefore, are specific for antigens presented by MHC2 and not by MHC class I. MHC class I contains beta 2 microglobulin. The short cytoplasmic intracellular tail of CD4 contains a special sequence of amino acids that allow it to interact with the LCK molecule. Function CD4 is a co-receptor that assists the T-cell receptor in communicating with an antigen-presenting cell. Using its intracellular domain, CD4 amplifies the signal generated by the TCR by recruiting an enzyme, the tyrosine kinase LCK which is essential for activating many molecular components of the signaling cascade of an activated T cell. Various types of T helper cells are thereby produced. CD4 also interacts directly with MHC class II molecules on the surface of the antigen-presenting cell using its extracellular domain. The extracellular domain adopts an immunoglobulin-like beta sandwich with seven strands in two beta sheets, in a Greek key topology. Other interactions. CD4 has also been shown to interact with SPG21, LCK and protein UNC119 homolog. Disease HIV infection, HIV1 uses CD4 to gain entry into host T cells and achieves this through its viral envelope protein known as GP120. The binding to CD4 creates a shift in the conformation of GP120 allowing HIV1 to bind to a co-receptor expressed on the host cell. These co-receptors are chemokine receptors CCR5 or CXCR4. Following a structural change in another viral protein, HIV inserts a fusion peptide into the host cell that allows the outer membrane of the virus to fuse with the cell membrane. HIV pathology, HIV infection leads to a progressive reduction in the number of T cells expressing CD4. Medical professionals refer to the CD4 count to decide when to begin treatment during HIV infection. Normal blood values are usually expressed as the number of cells per microliter of blood, with normal values for CD4 cells being 500 to 1200 cells and 3. A CD4 count measures the number of T cells expressing CD4. While CD4 counts are not a direct HIV test, for example they do not check the presence of viral DNA, or specific antibodies against HIV, they are used to assess the immune system of a patient. Patients often undergo treatments when the CD4 counts reach a level of 350 cells per microliter in Europe but usually around 500 cpm in the US. People with less than 200 cells per microliter are at high risk of contracting AIDS-defined illnesses. The newest National Institute of Health guidelines recommend treatment of any HIV-positive individuals regardless of CD4 count. Medical professionals also refer to CD4 tests to determine efficacy of treatment. Other diseases, CD4 continues to be expressed in most neoplasms derived from T helper cells. 
it is therefore possible to use CD4 immunohistochemistry on tissue biopsy samples to identify most forms of peripheral T-cell lymphoma and related malignant conditions. The antigen has also been associated with a number of autoimmune diseases such as vitiligo and type I diabetes mellitus. See also, CD4 plus T-cells and anti-tumor immunity, references. Further reading. External links. CD1 antigen at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, Mouse CD antigen chart, Human CD antigen chart, Human immunodeficiency virus glycoprotein 120. This article incorporates text from the public domain FAM and Interpro IPRO 15274.